Oh, that's wrong too. Basically, as long as we don't lose too much health, and I've left, I've left a couple that we can get, and they boo us every time we get it. It's kind of funny. Okay, now we're not doing so great. I don't like losing all this health, though. Dang it, that's not... darn it, game. We still have four guesses, but... It's gonna get the extra health just in case. I'm not gonna skip over that, in case there's like three skulls we have to skip over. Stop being wrong! There we go. That's easy, that's freeze easy peak. I think the I think the sound ones are the easiest to do. Are, are the easiest to get. Freeze easy peak, just a great world. I love it. So here we have another challenge, let's we'll see what it is. Oh we gotta we gotta fight the box again. And I like I like the box. We'll, we'll just use our golden feathers again. At least as much as we can. Okay, we're out. But that that's there, we had more than enough feathers in. I think it's a fun boss though. So we just gotta get this one, and then we can skip over the next three. Right, tap wrap. So then we'll skip, skip, and then skip. So then we won the prize. I'm not really sure if we actually watch the credits, or if we don't watch them until we actually beat Grunty. <laughs> Kazooie just being a cunt is normal. That's why I love Kazooie. And she's pretty excited, she's rescued, that's why she's jumping up and down. We have the happy music playing. I don't know if we can skip over these credits. Okay, yeah, I skipped over the credits. I really hope you don't want to actually see the credits. I don't know of anyone who ever wants to see the credits, ever. So now we just have the final boss to do, and hopefully that won't that won't take too long, because I'm actually not the best at it. I've beaten it before, but there's a chance I might die. But luckily I'll be able to double my health. But if there's this one mistake I make, like when we're flying around and I do the beak bomb wrong, I'll hit the ground and then fly off the edge, which is an instant kill, obviously. But since we have all the jiggies and notes, we can basically just pump ourselves up for the final boss. Let me just interrupt and corrupt you while she's talking. It's kind of weird to be in her lair after we've beaten, kind of beaten the game. We haven't officially beaten it yet. Basically, we have one more puzzle to solve, which is totally blank. And once we solve it, we get we'll have six honeycombs left, and then we use, our, we, have, we use four more honeycombs to let us double our health. I if we can fall off the edge. No, we can't. There's invisible walls. It's kind of nice. Get some extra lives that we don't need. Maybe just in case we die that many times. I really hope not.
So now we're in the really scary part. So now we don't need to walk back over that board as we're playing. More than enough notes to get through there. And what I like about this game though is it requires a lot more jiggies to win. Because in this game you need 94 to win, 98 if you want to double your health for the final boss. And in Banjo 2 you only need 70 out of 90. However, there, it does take a lot more. The, the, the jiggies in Banjo 2 are a lot harder to get. Remember when I was a kid, I, I could only get like 80. And here's just the, the one room. These doors don't really go anywhere. Gonna wander around a bit. I don't know why they give us that door. Maybe that's the wrong door. Yeah, this is the right door. And if we got extra notes, we can get through these doors. Which is just, it just refills our feathers and eggs and gold feathers. Which is handy. At 882 notes, in Banjo 2 I believe you only need 700... Man, I don't know if it's 720, it might be 820. Yeah, there's a honeycomb piece. Picture. So that doubles our health, and when we get hit it goes back to yellow. We already had full eggs. This is full of gold feathers. Which I think gold feathers would be really useful against Grunty. I suppose if we really wanted to, we could go double our stuff with the Cheeto codes. So now we jump into him, we get shot up to fight Grunty. So the pot is alive, which that must be a terrible job. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna fight Grunty and hopefully we can win. So it's time for the final boss, and I'm sorry if I don't talk much, but basically it just starts out with just dodging her broom attacks. And then her, her broom sputters out. But there's like several stages to this fight. Okay, I totally attacked you! I do not like this game when it comes to judging attacks. I mean, if I jump up and press X, that's an attack. That's not losing a health. See, look at that. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's two health I shouldn't have lost right there. Because apparently I was too close to her when I attacked. Okay, it's not gonna happen this time. There we go. So basically now at this point she just shoots off like these spells at us. And basically we're not we're not it's not too hard so far. Basically just like we just wait for her to fire and then move over to the side a bit. 
And apparently all three of those missed. It'd be nice if that knocked her off. Yeah, I think we gotta do that. I don't really think there's a way to dodge that. 